Are you ready to spell some words? They are all going to have the sound d or id at the end. Okay, so these words we're going to practice on the uh, um, kind of as a follow along and more repetition from the ones that we did before where we had those words with d or id at the end. So our first word we're going to do is featured. Okay, um, they featured a new product at the event or whatever. So featured when you, you put a focus on something. So what are our syllables in featured? Okay, we have featured. Sounds in fee. F e sounds in churd. Ch er d. All right, so this is a smaller word. Some interesting spellings though. So you're going to show me what you think the spellings are. Okay, say those sounds as you write and then we're going to come back and we're going to check it. So say those sounds as you write. Fee. F e ch er d. Say as you go. Featured. Every single sound. All right, are you ready? I'm going to show you the spellings. Now, if this is too fast, you're like, oh, I'm not ready, nor you can pause your video always, okay? So, are you ready? Sounds in fee. Here's our E spelling. Remember when we did our spellings for E? This is one of the most common ways to spell E. So, if you had anything else like this or this or any other E spelling, please erase it. Change it so it looks like mine. If you had to change it, circle in two lines under it. If you didn't have to change it, just take a little break right there. You don't have to do anything. Now, churd. What's our first sound in churd? Ch. Here's our spelling for ch. Now, you might have put that, which is very understandable. But this one, especially before er, in multi-syllable bigger words, a lot of times is how we spell ch. So, be sure you have that. If you needed to change it, circle in underline after you've changed it. Don't circle the things that are incorrect because that buzzes them into our brain. We don't want the incorrect in our brain. Ch. And here is our er. That two letter er like in the word hurt. Now you might have used a different one. There's a whole lot of choices. This one is not quite as common. So if you had a different one, if you had this or anything else, don't just erase one letter and add it. Erase that whole spelling. Write this and say er. Circle two lines under it. Ch er. And then our new way to spell d that we're familiar with. Did you have those guys? If not, no worries. Change it so it looks like mine. If you had to change it, circle two lines under. Okay, so you may not have all these circles and lines, okay? But a lot of times those are the common ones that are misspelled. So featured. Look at what you need to remember. Then what I want you to do is you're going to erase your board and, and go ahead up in the corner. Say as you write featured. You featured the word featured on your board, okay? So erase. Say every sound, please, for fee and then churred. Okay, say those sounds as you write. All right, now we're going to check it. Okay, if anything's different, be sure and change it so it looks like mine. Fee, e, churd, ch, er, d, featured. Got it? Featured. Okay, now we're going to do the word influenced. When you um, kind of convince somebody to do something or have them think about something different, you influenced them. Okay, so hopefully I have influenced you to say the sounds as you write to become an even better reader, writer, and speller. Okay, so we're going to do influenced. So what are our syllables? Influenced. Influenced. Sounds in in. I, n, flu, f, l, u, influenced. A, N -s -d. All right, you've got your placeholders there. Now say the sounds as you write influenced. Say every single sound. Influenced. I, n, f, o, u, a, n, s, d. Influenced. Okay, you ready? Now say the sounds as I write and you can check it. I, n, in, flu, f, l, u. So here's your u spelling. Now, if you did this like the bird flew in the air, that makes sense, but not in this word in the middle there. This is your u. So if you had a different one, erase, change, circle, one line under it. In, flu, enst, a, n. Here's your spelling for s. Check it out. Did you have that s? You might have had this. That makes sense, right? Or a different s. If you did erase it, change it to this, circle, one line under it. Atens, and here is our d, which we're getting familiar with. Did you get that d? If you have it, just go for it. If you didn't, circle two lines under it. Either way is beautiful, okay? Influenced. 
Check out what, uh, look at what you circled because that's what you need to remember when you write it all together. Syllable by syllable, vowel spelling in each syllable. Erase your board, not your whole board, they featured up there. Erase your word, I should say, on the lines. Say as you write, influenced, right under featured. Say every sound as you write, and then we're going to check it. Say all those sounds. Okay, eyes up here. Say as I write influenced. I, n, f, u, u, influ, a, n, s, d, influenced. Okay, if you have anything that's different, just change it so it looks like mine. All right, our last word we're going to spell. Recommended. Um, they recommended I get the special at the restaurant. Okay, when you recommend something, you tell people um, what you think is a good plan, good idea. Okay, recommended. Okay, four syllables. What are our syllables here? Ra, ka, men, did. Sounds in re. R, a, ra, ka. K, a, ra, ka. What's our next syllable? Men. Sounds in men. M, a, n. Recommend, did. D, i, d. So it's two sounds here because it ends in that d or t. Remember? Say the sounds as you write, recommended. Say every sound as you go. R, a, k, a, m, a, n, d, i, d. Just say all those sounds as well as I did. Be sure they come out of your mouth because that's what helps you learn them the best. Okay, eyes up here. Sounds in re. R, a, ra. Now, k, k. Did you have that k? If you had a different one, erase, change, circle, underline. Uh, there's that uh again, which we're seeing that a lot, of, aren't we? Raka. Now, men. Here is our mm spelling. It's two letters. Now, if you just had one, don't just add the other one. Erase what you had. Write both of these and say mm because it's a different symbol for mm. Ah, mm, men. Raka, men. Now, did. D, i, d. And be sure you've got that hook around there. Did. Recommended. Okay, so that's that two sounds because it's coming after a d. Now, circle, um, anything, let's see, I didn't have you do that one, that, and that mm is probably another one. Okay, anything that you had to fix, circle and underline, I forgot to tell you back there. All right, got it? Now, say the sounds as you write, recommended, all smushed together. Say every single sound, and then we'll check it. All right, ready to check? Let's say those sounds as we write. R, a, k, a, r, a, k, a, m. Did you have that two letter m? A, n, d, i, d. Okay, so past tense, past tense, past tense. This is two spelling, two letters, or two sounds for that same spelling because it comes after a d. Same if it comes after a t. So, in your resources, you are going to find a list of a whole bunch of words that have this ending. Now, sometimes it's going to be two sounds if it comes after a d or a t, okay, or other times one. So, use that list and practice reading these words, practice spelling these words, and you'll also see them all over the place in your world um, in print that's everywhere, all right? So, see where you can find that suffix for d. Good work.